We got the whole store, but Rye only gets 30 seconds to pick whatever fishing lures he wants, and I'm gonna buy it for him. Have a stopwatch right here. If you drop anything, you don't get anything. Go. Rye is off right now. He's going with the Guggen baits. We are at Dick Sporting Goods right now. We got all of the beautiful Guggen baits. We got Rye over here. Y'all have seen him in the videos before. So, uh, y'all, we have tons of Guggen baits here. And there's Zoom on the other aisle and Yum. We got Chatter baits over here, Z Man stuff. We got tons of some of stuff. These are all great baits Rye can choose from. We got the whole store, but Rye only gets 30 seconds to pick whatever fishing lures he wants. And I'm going to buy it for him. It's going to be absolutely sick, ladies and gents. I'm hyped for today's video. Super, super sick stuff. Y'all give back to people. It's awesome stuff. You know, just to spread positivity. That's what we're trying to do. Got tons of Guggen baits. So y'all, we are going to give Rye 30 seconds to pick any fishing lure that he wants. He could run this aisle, this aisle. If it drops, he doesn't get it, but he can carry anything he wants in 30 seconds. Here we go. Have a stopwatch right here. And at 30 seconds, my boy Rye over here, he's going to pick whatever baits he wants. If he drops it, he doesn't get it. How about, how about we do this? If you drop anything, you don't get anything. So if you drop something, you don't get it at all. So I think that's going to be our new rule. We're going to make it even more challenging for Rye. So if he drops anything at all, he doesn't get it. It's 30 seconds to pick whatever he wants. Here we go. Ready? I'm going to give you a little, little timer. Three, two, one. All right. On go. Three, two, one. Go. Rye is off right now. He's going with the Guggen baits. All right. Strong move. Strong move. Love the Guggen baits. Six seconds right now. Six seconds on the clock. Oh, yes. Let's go. All right. Come crack and cross. Nice. Lock your logs. Okay. Run over this, up this aisle. Nice. Nice. 16 seconds. 18 seconds. Got some yum stuff. Okay. 20 seconds. All right. We got five more seconds. Five more seconds. Oh, going over here. Oh, oh. Two. One, oh, all right, stop. All right, well, this one dropped, but it did not hit the floor, which I think is okay. I'm gonna let it bypass for this challenge. We're gonna stop the clock over there, but that dropped, but we are not going to count it because it didn't hit the floor. It hit this thing, I'll count it. Y'all, right, picked out tons of stuff. That, that, is gonna, that is gonna be a rip in the, in the bank account right there. But that is tons and tons of stuff for Rye. All right, let's, let's, let's lay it all out here, see what you got here. Pretty, pretty sick. Okay, we got, we got a decent amount. So we got a Strike King kit, two chatter baits, a bunch of Guggen baits, what are these? Bandito bugs, Lunker logs, white crack and cross, saucy swimmer. Uh, we got the new Guggen squad clickbait, love it. Yum dingers, frog, banger, and scout. Pretty solid lineup right there for Rye. Great job, Rye. Good stuff. Y'all, sick stuff right there. I'm gonna leave Ryan's Instagram link down below. Go follow him. Great, great stuff. We got tons of great baits. We're gonna go check out. I'll see y'all at the car. We're gonna be doing more in this video. Super glad we could give Rye 30 seconds to pick out some stuff. Great, great stuff. Um, y'all always spread some positivity out there in 2021. But y'all, we also picked up some stuff. We got some Sapkoshi bugs in there. As y'all can see, we picked up some tackle boxes. Also, Rye wanted. Pretty, pretty sick stuff. All right, y'all, good stuff. What is going on, guys? Zuggy Fishing here. Back to you with another video. Hope y'all are so well. Hope y'all are living positively, beautifully, confidently with optimism, resiliency, perseverance, just loving life out there. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I am Zuggy Fishing. We do everything positive on the channel, positive vibes all over the place. If y'all are ever feeling down, come watch the videos. You'll always get some positive vibes from me. That's what's the most important thing. Y'all are awesome. Y'all are worth it. Y'all, if you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you like fishing in the outdoors, make sure y'all hit that red subscribe button. Leave a like on this video and a comment. Y'all go follow me on Instagram at Zuggy Fishing. The link is in the description. Today, I have a very special video for y'all. I got some new rods. Gabellas, I went to Dick Sporting Goods, got a punch of different rods that I want to show you guys. Big old rod unboxing today, kind of. It's going to be pretty, pretty sick and some cool combos that I recommend. Tons of rods right here that we're going to take a look at. Pretty, pretty sick stuff. And uh, yeah, we got about four rods. Um, the reels are going to probably be in a different video, but I do have them on. So it's pretty, pretty sick stuff. But I'm going to be showing you guys some of the rods that I got. Lose 
Mr. Catfish Rod. She had Dick's Sporting Goods not too long ago, and I got the Lose Mr. Catfish Rod. And to be honest, I'm gonna be completely honest, I did not even know what this was a thing. This is the XLC series Lose Mr. Catfish Rod. You guys know I love Lose. I love their rods, I love their reels. Seven foot, medium heavy rod, fast action tip. Big old stiff pole right here for some catfish. It had, does not have a lot of bend to it. Um, I never actually heard of this rod before and I've never seen it, but I decided to pick it up from Dick's Sporting Goods. We're gonna get a close up about the old Lose Mr. Catfish right here. It looks pretty cool. And I'm looking forward to this to be um, maybe like a live bait rod per se, not only for catfish, maybe for carp as well. I'm pr pretty versatile. I have not picked a reel on this thing. I do have to get a heavier a reel, not your basic, you know, bass fishing reel, but I do have to put a heavier reel on this. I do want to chuck out some live bait on this thing for, for catfish, carp. Maybe when I go down to Florida, as well as some of those species there's only seven foot but it's really heavy has great action a big old handle um it is a spinning rod obviously and it, pretty solid action for a uh for a big old stiff rod look at the action right here on this rod so it, it's a pretty stiff rod overall however it does have some good action i think that's pretty cool from the lose mr catfish overall it is a one piece rod um which i don't love for traveling but i'll totally use it when i'm not traveling the lose mr catfish rod i mainly plan on throwing live bait with this thing whether throwing it out chicken livers shiners minnows anything like that i totally totally plan on using the lose mr catfish rod from the butt on we're going to take a look at what this rod looks like it looks pretty pretty sick got the big old handle grips on there and the big lose logo with the mr catfish on it pretty pretty sick stuff so this holds anywhere between 10 and 20 pound line and uh the three eighths ounce lure however i'm mainly be throwing that live bait big circle hook type guy let it sit on the bottom chicken livers um some worms maybe you know all that type of stuff i think it's really really sick the loose catfish rod really good action as i said before going on the tip so pretty pretty versatile for many species i really not going to be using this for bass i'm mainly going to be chucking out hot dogs chicken livers uh, live bait shiners things like that um, out this is like a perfect spot for example that i would throw something on this rod cast it out there there's some good catfish in here i'd let it sit pop, prop it up and this can hold some really big fish with a medium heavy action the lose mr catfish rod pretty sick is the old lose mock smash other lose combo for y'all pretty pretty awesome stuff lose mock smash right here i'm actually doing a full video on this rod i'm not sure if you guys have seen that already or if it has not come out yet but i have am doing a full video on the lose mock smash i think it's an absolutely sick combo this is a combo i got from cabela's in pennsylvania it's a pretty pretty sick stuff the seven five to one gear ratio reel um it is a right-handed reel it's actually my first ever right-handed bait caster i've ever gotten in my entire life the rod is a 610 medium heavy fast action tip pretty pretty sick stuff you got the orange color this is the lose mock smash right here ladies and gents got these sick rubber grips on it this thing is sick i love love this rod and reel i think it's an awesome awesome combo um now this is actually my first righty reel i've ever got in my life so it's gonna be pretty sick to try to learn how to use this bait uh, we're just gonna cast it once i'm doing a full video on this reel but i'm just gonna cast it once to show you guys oh yeah this thing's awesome and this is my first riding reel so i do have to get used to it my you know first time ever doing something you gotta get used to it but pretty pretty sick stuff overall and uh yeah i mean i love this combo it's pretty pretty sick got the black braid paired on it um what i'm this is mainly like my go-to setup i think i'm gonna throw pretty much everything on this thing for for bass mainly uh top water with the braid texas rig stuff uh, moving baits i think it's pretty pretty sick overall but this is an awesome awesome combo right here that i'm hyped to use out on the water i cannot wait for this thing i'm gonna catch warmer outside but it's pretty cold right now but uh, i love this thing it's super smooth i'm doing a full video on this reel so don't you guys worry about that but uh the lose mock smash combo pretty sick stuff all right y'all the next reel and rod that we have i should be doing a video on this too but later on towards the springtime this is the saint croix triumphant ultralight rod pretty pretty sick combo i love saint croix rods um uh you guys have seen my saint croix bass x rod in my videos pretty sick stuff so this is an ultralight combo the fluger el presidente reel on here it's a very low profile reel it is the thousand size and take a look from the butt down on what this rod looks like pretty pretty sick stuff so this is mainly going to be my trout setup slash panfish uh, but mainly a trout setup it is a very ultra light rod and uh pretty pretty sick stuff so the saint croix triumph six foot 
fast action rod. We're going to take a look at the action right now. I love St. Croix's action. Beautiful action right there. That's what we love. Great, great stuff on this rod. Love, love St. Croix rods. You know, you can't go wrong with the St. Croix. This thing was about 100 bucks from Dick's Sporting Goods. Pretty, pretty sick stuff for a trout rod. Um, four to eight pound line on this thing, you know, very, very light. Great for trout season, great for panfish even. You know, if you just want to live bait some stuff, toss it out. It's a very ultra light setup, especially with the Fluger El Presidente, a very smooth and versatile reel. I love this for trout. Mainly be throwing MEPS on this thing, be throwing power bait, uh, letting it sit out there for trout during trout season. I'm hyped. You guys are definitely going to be seeing me use this um, on opening day of trout season. St. Croix Triumph, pretty sick rod. I totally recommend it for trout. A good six foot setup. Pretty solid. You can get a solid casting distance on this thing. It's super light if you're all pan fishermen, crappie fisher, ah, crappie and, but uh, trout definitely. If y'all are big trout anglers, totally want to pick up this reel, put on some four pound line on this thing, catch some trout, pretty great stuff. Well, the final combo, that it's not a combo actually, it's a rod and reel setup that I have. I picked up St. Croix Mojo Yak Rod. This is the St. Croix Mojo Yak Rod right here. It's a super light setup, um, which I love. So love the rubber grips on this thing. It's so, so sick. Just going up the rod, it's pretty awesome. So this is a Mojo Rod right here from St. Croix. Pretty sick stuff. So this is what the rod looks like, the Mojo Yak Rod. So I have a pair with the Lose Carbon Fire right here. A pretty sick setup, seven, five to one gear ratio. And this reel is absolutely electric. I love this thing a lot. So this setup, I'm mainly gonna be my Texas rig setup. This is a seven foot, medium heavy, fast action tip right here. Pulled anywhere between 10 and 17 pound line. Pretty sick stuff. So I have 12 pound fluorocarbon on this reel right here. It's a very light rod. It's not heavy at all. Um, and it's what I'm mainly gonna be throwing my Texas rigs on. Paws, Sankos, even wacky rigs. Uh, you know, anything lighter along that line, soft plastic type stuff, trick worms, or even dead rigs. Light setup overall. Um, it can be thrown for other things. I may throw chatterbait, spinnerbaits. I'm not sure yet, depending on the different line. Pretty, pretty sick stuff overall, especially with the loose carbon fire right here. Ojo Yak Rod from St. Croix. Pretty, pretty sick stuff right there. St. Croix, pretty solid stuff overall, though. I love this great action on this rod. Absolutely love this thing. So, uh, yeah, those are four awesome setups that I, I acquired. Four setups right here. We got the St. Croix mojo yak rod st croix triumphant rod we got the lose mr catfish and the lose mock smash combo pretty pretty sick stuff overall four solid setups that you guys are going to be seeing me use in my videos a lot just want to make a, a quick little video for y'all showing these six setups i thought it was pretty cool and uh you know if i could suggest them for you it's freezing outside super glad i could make this video today for y'all if y'all enjoyed make sure i hit the red subscribe button leave a like on this video and to comment if y'all are new welcome i'm zuggy fishing we do everything positive on the channel like fishing in the outdoors totally hit that red subscribe button you know some sick combos right here that i absolutely love and totally gonna be using catfish bass trout panfish very very versatile throwing different baits on all of them hope y'all enjoyed today's video the merch is in the description be positive just fish